Sun's run wide. Here comes the Vizioso. Oh, my word. The checkered flag is up. Who's going to win this one? We seem to be stuck. He doesn't know one word. The wait is finally over. I am Vanessa. I'm going to be here all weekend at the LaSalle International Circuit, host of the first round of the 2019 MotoGP Championship. Shall we see what's going on? Let's go. paddock and we're trying to get a sense of how everyone's feeling to be back here if you could describe the paddock in one word what would that be it's family windy at the moment <laughs> uh, windy busy awesome yeah. crazy a messy young and passion hi fabio hello so hello so fabio one word to describe the paddock uh yeah. one he, doesn't, word only. he doesn't know one word <laughs> yeah no, no, I, strange oh come on boys <laughs> Quick question, if you had to describe Family. the paddock in one word, what would it be? Family. I mean, uh, in the end, we are a very big family that uh, we are traveling around the world. And, and yeah, this will be the way. And one word to describe the MotoGP here in Qatar? Show. I mean, uh, it's uh, one of the, of the most, uh, I think, one of the most important races because uh, it's the first of the season, but also it's uh, one of the, 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 the different one because it's in the night and it's really nice to, to start like this. And now it's time for Never Have I Ever. <laughs> the first thing I think is uh, Paul Espargaro actually puts girlfriend. Now it's his, his, his wife. Ah. I think so. The people is interested in my wife, not in me. <laughs> this this makes me think a lot. <laughs> I can put double. I have. I have. I have. I have. <laughs> if we go at the normal speed, we fall asleep. So we have to go fast to stay focused. So to it's stay focused. More safe. No, but hundred for... percent. Yeah. I'm with Johan. Johan for president. Uh, I don't know. I remember one. Yeah, maybe with Afis. One thing I remember. We were having some pictures. And uh, just we were together having pictures, and I put my finger in in my in my <laughs> pants, and then he say, ah, oh, because he thought it was really my my little buddy, but uh, <laughs> but not. When I was a child, uh, I had a, a swimming pool, so I think for all summer I was just cleaning in the pool. And With a soap as well. <laughs> Could be Malaysia and Thailand for a little bit less <laughs> yeah. warm. I would this say. would be uh, nice. I would sign it for sure. Okay, well, thanks guys, and let's get back to the paddock. It is the beginning of the season, and there's been quite a few changes this season. And we have Danny Aldrich, technical director, to walk us through some of those changes. Danny, okay. so. One of the big ones for MotoGP has been the aero fairing uh, regulation changes. So explain us a little bit of what's, what's new. Last year, if they wanted to, they could remove these parts here and run without these wings on. Now they must stay on every single time. Any session, any qualifying, any race, they must stay on. They're allowed one upgrade during the season, so they can actually change the design once only. Mm -hmm. But again, the package must be complete. What you see now is what we call is a checking jig. And it's okay. basically an interpretation of the rule book. And this will be all the sizes you see, they're set in a rule book and we just made this. Two reasons is it makes my job a lot easier to check them. I don't have to use a ruler. <laughs> it also helps the manufacturers and teams so they can come to me and say, okay, we have a new design or we made an adjustment on the bike. We want to make sure our bike still conforms to the rules. Mm -hmm. If the bike enters a jig, it fits, it's within the rules. Should we check if the KTM bike fits within the regulations? Let's find out. Hi guys. Boys? So basically the front wheel must touch this this plate here, there. So okay, so here. So as you can see, this is perfectly fine. It fits within the boundaries of the rule book. Obviously there's space at the front here they have to work with if they want to, and obviously it's safe. 
Thank you very much, You're more than welcome. Oh. for updating us on all the changes. Okay, good luck. So one of the key elements for a MotoGP race are obviously the tires. So we're here by the Michelin containers, as you can see, to get a better sense of what have the developments been throughout testing. So we're going to speak to Piero Taramaso. How many uh, tires do you have to bring for this race in particular? Every race weekend we bring uh, 1,400 tires. Yeah. You can see this is all the tire. Okay. All the specification available for this race. This is the white with the white band is mm -hmm. the soft uh, compound. Then the black one is the medium compound and the yellow is the hard compound. Same thing for the front. For the rear, you have two specifications for the rear, the wet. So you have the blue one is the soft and the black one is the medium one. So Piero, is there an extra struggle to do a night race? Because there's several things that are quite different to a day race. Yeah, here is very strange track. It's very different compared to the other uh, race because many things, because the, the temperature in the, in the night, the temperature goes down, the humidity, and the humidity when it happens, you know, is happened very quickly. And the sand is very bad, especially for the tire, because the sand, it go on the track, and then it makes like a sand paper on the tire. So the wear level, he increased a lot. And now we're off to play a game with the riders. This is how the game works. Five lights, you wait for the lights to go out, and then you get your reaction time. <laughs> it's even worse. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, okay. So 0.239. Ooh, he's the fastest so far. Ooh. Oh. 0.245. Who beat me? Uh, Miguel Oliveira. Oh my god, this guy uh. is faster. Actually. <laughs> Luckily, we have him in the team. <laughs> so we have spoken to some of the riders and some of the key people in the paddock, but now with nightfall, it's time to race. Marquez makes his move. Big man on the front end, though. Can he hold his stick? The Vizio so tries to fight back. Side by side they are. It is Dobby versus Marquez, but Marquez has asked questions earlier than usual. He goes through but can't make it his front end. Oh my word, he's asking questions of that. How is Mark Marquez still on board that factory Honda? Incredible. He's pushing it to the absolute limit. We're in the final sector. Is it going to be a carbon copy of one year ago here in Qatar? Two corners to go. It's Andrea and it's Joso that holds the advantage. Marquez, you know he's going to attack. Mark Marquez will go all in. Can he find a way up the inside? It's a repeat Surely no. Oh, here he goes. He sets him up. He's lost momentum. They both run wide. Here comes the Vizioso. Oh, my word. The checkered flag is out. Who's going to win this one? It looks like the top step is stained in red once more. Da Vizioso just gets it on the line. What a first race of this 2019 season it has been. An amazing Andrea Dovizioso has won yet again as he did back in 2018. Closely followed by Mar Marquez by 0 0.023 of a second. And of course, with that Carl Crutchlow coming back from injury also on the podium. What an amazing trio of riders and what an amazing season we have ahead of us. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to Red Bull Motorsports on YouTube and see you next time. They both run wide! Here comes the Vizioso! Oh my word! The checkered flag!